Hello! In today's video, we're going to discuss how to create a macro. My name is Pamela Muse, Operations Systems Analyst for Holston Medical Group. A macro is a short phrase, a dot phrase if you will, to populate lots of text in just a few keystrokes. There are several places where you can create a macro. You can create a macro within the patient's chart by clicking on this circle with the three lines and selecting manage macros you can create macros there but the best place to create a macro is within tasks you want to ensure that you have a test patient populated in the banner and I'll, you want to click the word new and here you have the manage macro icon once again it's the lightning bolt I'm going to cr click on that if you have macros already, you will see the complete library. Here you can highlight a macro and edit, change it the way you want, want it to appear, or you can create macros. Macros, you want the dot phrase to be very, very short, either a number or just a few letters. Let's click Create. The dot will already be populated for you. And in the yellow field, I need to put information in there. In this macro, we're going to use the example we've been trying to contact a patient. Their, their phone number is always busy. Dot 08. The description field is important because that's your go-to. You can just at a glance see what that macro is all about. And I'm just going to enter in my what I want. Now, if you can't get a hold of the patient and they have Follow My Health, you can certainly send them a message instead of sending a letter. Now, let's click on Show Merge Fields. Show Merge Fields are options that will populate automatically for you. So, I want to choose Author. That's, that's me. And please be sure there's a space in between your punctuation and the bracket and I could I'm going to backspace patient out of there and I'm going to choose the patients I can choose first and last name if I want to or the first name I'm going to choose first name last name but I need to make sure there's spaces in between those brackets. I'm going to save it and close. And now I'm going to test that out. I called that 008. Keep in mind, whoever, whichever patient is populating the banner will show up in your, in your task. Now I'm going to take it a step further and show you how to copy if you see a text template that you like. For instance, I'm going to choose a normal mammogram. I can highlight all of that verbiage. Control C. And go back to my macros and create a new one. Control V, and I have that mammogram verbiage that I like in there. My dot is already populated, and I'm going to choose Normam. And in my description, normal nano. Save that. Close it. Let's test it out. Dot. And after
after you type out your macro, hit your enter button and your verbiage will appear. If you have any questions on how to create a macro, please reach out to one of the operation systems analysts or call the help desk at 1504. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.